We're going on a field trip. Pretend, pretend, field trip. Okay? We can take 10 people, maximum 10, and we can spend $72 or less for the admission price, but the theater charges $8 for adults and $6 per student. Okay? So, how many adults are going? Uh, that's not going to happen. You know zero adults would ever go. One adult, okay? So if one adult is going, how many students are going? Nine. Why do you say nine? Maximum is ten, okay? So what's the total number of people? Ten. So what is the cost per adult, first of all? Eight dollars, so we're going to write that right here. And what's the cost per student? Six dollars, okay? So if we know one adult is going, how much is it going to cost for the adults? Eight dollars. How much is it going to cost for the students? Fifty-four. So what's the total cost? Sixty-two, right? Add those two up. Yes? Does that work? How do you know it works? Seventy-two or less and ten people. We have ten people, right? Okay. So, um, how many adults are going? Two adults? What? Eight students? Okay, so how many people are going? Ten people are going. Um, we know it costs eight dollars per adult, so how much is it going to cost for the adults? Sixteen. Uh, how much is it going to cost for the students? What? Okay, 48. What's the total cost? <laughs> wow, you guys crack me up. 64. Right, 64 dollars? Okay. Um, does that work? Okay, how many adults are going? Yeah, that's boring. You guys are, are boring. I'm not going to write three. It's boring. Nine. Nine adults are going. How many students are going? One. Okay. If, in my opinion, that's a bunch of adults that want to get out of school. For the record, sometimes I'm in that group. Okay. So how many people are going? Okay. Um, so how much is it going to cost for the adults? Seventy-two. How much is it going to cost for the students? Six. So what's the total cost? Huh. Tara, why are you shaking your head? It's over seventy-two dollars. It doesn't work, does it? Okay. <coughs> so not only should we not send nine adults with one student, like, we can't, according to these parameters, can we? Okay. How many adults are going? Seven adults are going and taking how many students? <coughs> oh, two students? Okay. How many people are going? Is that even allowed? It says ten. It says ten people have to go. Oh, a maximum. So can nine people go? Okay. So how much is it going to cost for the adults? Seven times eight, fifty-six. How much is it going to cost for the two students? Twelve for a total of sixty-eight. Does that work? Even though I didn't take ten kit, ten or ten people, I'm allowed, right? I'm allowed to take less than ten. It just I can only take maximum of ten, right? Okay, so how many adults are going? Five. How many students are going? Five, okay. How many people? Ten. How much are adults going to cost? Forty. How much are students going to cost? Thirty. What's the total cost going to be? Seventy. Does that work? Okay. What do you think my next question is? 
How many adults are going? X. How many students are going? Y. How many total people are going? I heard that several times. I was just letting you letting you think about it. Okay. So, how much does it cost for an adult? Eight dollars. And how many adults are going? X, right? So, eight X. Very good. So, what's the cost for student? Six Y. Right? So what's the total cost? 8x plus 6y. Okay? So I want to graph two different things on this coordinate plane right here, on this grid. I want to graph two different things. Okay? First thing I want to graph has to do with this right here. Tell me what else you know about that right there. It's the total people going. How many people can go? up to 10, right? Okay, so let's start off here. X plus Y equals 10. Now, does it have to equal 10? No, we'll go there in just a second though. Okay, right now we're going to do X plus Y equals 10. How am I going to graph that? What form does it kind of need to be in for me to graph? y equals, right? It's a slope intercept form. So if I subtract an x from both sides, I get y equals negative x plus 10. Can I graph that? Hopefully, right? I know my y intercept is 10 and I'm, I know my slope is negative 1, right? So wait, can I graph it right now? Not yet, can I? What do I have to do before I can start graphing? I have to prepare my graph, don't I? Okay, so how am I going to scale this? X and Y, look at our X and Ys. So can I go to 10 and or however far? Can I just count by 1s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So how do I graph this line then? Oh wait, what is this down here? Adults, right? or number of adults. And what's this right over here on the y-axis? Number of students. Hey, can I tell you about this crazy kid earlier? He didn't even want to use X and Y at all. He wanted to use A and S. Is that even allowed? Why would he even want to use A and S? Oh, adults and students. So those would be meaningful variables, right? Can I graph on the A axis and the S axis? I just name them, right? I could call this one the A axis and this one the X axis and still do the same thing I'm doing now. Okay? So he was, was he really all that crazy? No. Yeah, but you don't know him personally. It's okay. Just teasing. Okay, so how do I graph this line now? Where do I go? 0, 10. Why do I go 0, 10? That's the y-intercept. And then what do I do? What's my slope? Negative 1, so down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. And just keep going, right? And some people are like, oh my gosh, that's so many dots. I'm like, wow, what a whiner. Because really, is that a lot of dots? And how easy is it to see my line then? Super easy, right? Okay. So if you have a problem with that, just go ahead and get over it. Okay, good. So tell me about this line. 
it's decreasing it's straight shame it is decreasing okay tell me about the y-intercept what does that mean in the real world zero adults and 10 students what's the x-intercept 10 adults and zero students right okay you get the idea okay why did we start from this equation right here because it was easiest to see what do you mean easiest to see were we just adding adults and students like why didn't we start in slope intercept form here we're, we had to figure it out right it wasn't the easiest to see sometimes when we're working in an, uh, a form like this called standard form the values for X and Y are easy to see okay all we had to do is add these two together to get the number of people all we had to do is add these together to get the number of people all we do is add these together to get what our maximum number of people is sometimes it's easy to see and in fact is it easy to see the X and Y intercept here if X equals 0 what's Y read it Y equals 10 if Y equals 0 what's X X equals 10 okay standard form makes X and Y intercepts very easy to find and very easy to read okay now obviously in slope intercept form my Y intercept is super easy to read because it's just right there right X intercept not so much but in this in standard form what else can I not see very easily yeah my slope I can't see my slope can I okay um, any questions about that turn it over a business team is touring a plant pretty sure it's not like a plant like a fern okay I think it means like a business type of plant an industrial plant okay the tour van can seat seven people a function that represents the number of women and men that can ride in the car is W plus M equals seven I'm not exactly sure when it went from a van to a car okay I'm assuming it's a van because I don't really know any cars that can seat seven people but of course I don't know everything about cars okay so graph W plus M equals seven uh what can we graph W and M didn't we have that crazy that conversation about that crazy kid what did we do we just label them right so let's make this my W axis and this my M axis okay so if this is my W axis and this is my M axis which e which of these variables do I have to solve my equation for M how do you know it's M yeah we normally solve for Y don't we what what variable is taking the place of Y in this problem M so if I subtract W from both sides I get M equals negative W plus 7 you can't even see that at all can you that's so great let me find my pen real fast uh, April it's right there thank you let's try this again M equals negative W plus 7 is that better okay good so how do I graph that up 7 I already know this is my number of women and my number of men and I can count by ones right two three four five six seven eight nine ten so what's my y-intercept okay so I go up seven what's my slope Neg negative one over one so down one right one oh my gosh there's so many dots so tell me again what is my y-intercept be careful zero seven excellent what does the y-intercept mean in this situation it 
if zero women go, what'd you say? Then seven men can go. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. That might help. Is that better? Okay. So what's the x-intercept? Seven, zero? It's right here, right? Okay. What does the x-intercept mean in this situation? If seven women go, then zero men can go. Okay. So now we, we need to have a side conversation that's not on this worksheet, but because of other worksheets we've done, will show up on your test tomorrow. Okay. I need to know what kind of line this is. Let's start there. It's a decreasing line. How do you know it's a decreasing line? From left to right, it is decreasing. It's falling, right? The data is um, declining, decreasing, whatever kind of word you want to figure out right there. Okay. Um, is this situation discrete or continuous? Well, one of those is right. Okay. Half of you said discrete, half of you said continuous. But if one of them's right, then one of them's wrong, right? Okay. So we have to figure out the difference between discrete and continuous. Can you have continuous functions can't the line can be drawn in between the points. Now, I agree with the fact that these points are in such a fashion that we could draw a line through them, right? I agree with that. But are we allowed to draw a line through them? No, because there's no points in between. Can I make a point right here? Can I make a point right there? But if I have 1.5 plus 8 point or 6.5, wait, 0. 0.5 plus 6.5, doesn't that equal 7? It does, right? So why can't I not connect the line? You cannot have half of a woman go. That would be really awkward, right? Okay. We're not going to get into, well, they're, can, they're half a man because they won't stand up. No, we're not going to go there. Okay? We're not going to go there. We're just talking about realistically, can you have half of a man or half of a woman? No. So can I connect these dots? No. So what kind of a function is this? Discrete or continuous? This is discrete. What if I said... It wasn't women and men we were taking in the car. It was bags of candy and cups of something to drink. Can I have a half a bag of candy? Can I have half a cup of drink? Yes. C can I connect the line then if it was candy and something to drink? Yes. Okay. So even though it's exactly the same data, how are you going to know if it's discrete or continuous? Look at the labels. Look at the labels. Look at our situation.